What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be doing a gameplay in NBA 2K22, my team. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are literally 80 subscribers at 274k. If we somehow hit that by the end of the weekend, that would be absolutely, absolutely insane. If you guys enjoy the my team game mode, want to learn about this mode, this is the best place for that. Um. So yeah, anyway, today was the flashbacks. So there are a lot of interesting cards here, but one has kind one kind of caught my eye, and it's this guy right here. And because all the others are hyped, this guy's not at all. But he's that he's a damn good player. It's James Worthy. So like James Worthy, you see he's gone way down in terms of Sapphire. But his Ruby, I paid two point two k. You are getting a legitimate Ruby. A good ruby for like 2.2k. He's the cheapest ruby in the game. 2,250 like. The guy is so cheap. I wonder what price he is. At like. Just on bids. Like you're seeing this guy end at 2,000 in bids. How is this guy so cheap? Like honestly. Honestly. If we're looking at rubies under. And let's just say under like 3,600. It's just him. It's just him. Obviously, there are other ones. But like, there's not actually. I was about to say, I'm looking up the name James Worthy. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Color Ruby. Price like 3,600. It's even four or 500. It's like Larry Marketing. You go enabled. There's still a few of these guys. But like, this guy is so cheap. Outside of him and Markman, are there any for N 3K? Okay, there are. Rubies are now significantly cheaper. Like again, he's cheaper than Johnny Moore. Johnny Moore stinks. He's terrible. We need to we need to talk about that. Like Johnny Moore is absolutely terrible. Oh no. So Ruby. Max prize like 3k. He's absolutely shocking. And that is what you're... That's pretty much what you're getting. For end of 3k mark, you can get yourself a... Lowry. You can get yourself a... Guy that's really bad. Or you can just go and get yourself... Like a... Really, really good player in James Worthy. For these cheap rubies, you've got... And he's not only a... Like a cheap ruby. He's one of... the better rubies in this game he's like 80 percent of siakam the guy is like legitimately 80 percent of what pascal siakam is and the guy is stupidly cheap he is stupidly stupidly cheap so yeah anyway let me let me let me talk about this guy a little bit let's put him into the test line up here and we can see what he's all about so He's a power forward. And he does everything. He's got an 85 post hook and fade away. He's got a 70 or 84 mid range, a 75 three. So if you can green, you can green with him. He's also got not a great ball handle, but solid all around defensive stats. 81 speed and 82 speed with ball. Yeah, his, um, sorry, 82 acceler lateral. Speed with ball is a bit lacking of 70. He gets post spin technician, pro touch, dream shake. He's got fast twitch as well. As well as bronze glue hand. So he's got a lot of really, really good finishing badges. And he can shoot the ball a little bit. And he can play small forward. Like that's something a lot of people don't understand. Like the likes of Siakam cannot play small forward. And that's what I would call him. He's like a he's not quite Siakam. Like he's a little bit different. Like he's better inside. Um Siakam's a better defender. And speed wise they're quite similar. Badges wise, I think honestly, I think I'm gonna give the edge a little bit to Siakam, but they're quite similar players. Whereas Siakam's really expensive, and nobody has even nobody's even talking about James Worthy. Like this guy is what people are saying is the troll player of this set. So we're Worthy, you've got hot subs everywhere inside the three point line. His release is okay. It's okay. That is the only word. That's the best way I can describe it. You gotta get used to it. Like it's greenable. It is one hundred percent greenable. It's just a weird timing. Like I've shot a bunch of slightly lights in a row here. There we go. We greened one. That upper is kind of bad. 
It's like the Bob Dillinger jumper. But, again, you can green. Once you get used to this shot, you can green him quite consistently because rating's fine. The only problem is, though, is that it is just an awful upper. The upper means so much for jump shot. Yeah, base is the most important. Slow base means slow jump shot. But it's so, like, the upper is super, super important. Or if you are a meter guy, it doesn't really matter. Like, if you're someone who uses the meter shooting, it honestly makes no odds whatsoever what the player's upper is like. You're good. And I know there are a lot of really good players using the meter. So this year, really, it really is, it's always been preference for 2K. Meter or no meter. I just feel uncomfortable using it. But if you want to use the meter, then more power to you. His release is perfectly, perfectly fine with the meter. Like, as you can see, I'm greening more with the meter and without the meter. But it's just, in the in the grand scheme of the game, I'm just more comfortable without it. But his biggest thing is just, it's not post-game. Like, post-game is super important this year. The fact he can not only spread the floor, if he does get switched onto a little guard, he can dominate in the post. If you're facing someone using a Kyrie Irving, and you're abusing them with their point guard, because Kyrie should never guard ball, and they're like, okay, let me put Kyrie on a two guard, and you're running like a Richie Garen, Richie Garen's going to abuse them. They're like, okay, let me put him on Worthy. Worthy's going to abuse them. Like, he has to be used in certain play styles. But, I mean, for those play styles, the guy is... The guy is unbelievable. The guy is unbelievable. If you are used to... Like, if you enjoy the way he plays, like, he can be a... He can be a demon. Like, he can be an absolute demon in this game. He plays great defense. He can guard one through four. And, yeah, he's just a beast. So, anyway, now it's game three. And, come on. Come on, make me better. That's a green. That's a green charity. Now let's get on to the game. So we're gonna go and play a game of a triple threat, the 100, mainly because I kind of want Gus to ride, and it's a half decent way to make MT. But uh, yeah, so I got 150k. I don't plan on spending too much. I'll go over and nobody spends quite what I'm spending. I would be tempted to buy Kawhi. I would be very tempted to buy Kawhi, but I, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm going to do it. So, let's go into multiplayer. Triple chat online to 100. We're 20 and 1, and we have conceded 17 points through three games. Yeah, we conceded 17 through three. So, we're actually in really good. Like, we could lose 21. We could concede 21 points, and we're still on track. We could lose, and we're still on track. Um. So, let me go with Draymond. Do I want to go? I'm going to go... Um, what you call it, team? I'm going to go Beyblades. If you don't know what I'm, why I'm referring to players as Beyblades, they just... All I do is post-spin. Like, these are three guys with gold post-spin technician. So, all I'm going to do is post-spin. That is, like... That's, a, that's how I beat the game offline. And it is, like, it is a way of cheesing the AI. It's just post-spinning. So, perfect. So you can see here, he's got Mark Price. Boom, back down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have him on the post spin, dunk. There we go. Recover. Recover, recover, good defense. Okay, he's got that Beal in there. He's a little bit... I don't really want... That's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, I don't really want Beal being guarded by... Pet it, but you can't change defensive settings. In a game that's supposedly all about the defense, you can't change settings. We got him that way. To the basket. Easy dunk there for Worthy. Let's go. And that is what I'm doing. He's just spinning. He's just His offense is just going to be spinning for the entire game. Switch. We're there. He has to pass. And we got it to Worthy. Dot corner. It's green. That's a miss, but it's our board. It's our board. Oh, my. That lands anywhere. Anywhere but where it landed. That was our board. Our board, let's go. Come on, Worthy. I didn't. Sh um, show your defense, like. Because that was my fault. That was my fault there. I turned the ball over. Um, spin him. There we go. Nice one there. By Pettit. Let's go. Let's climb. Let's climb. Let's climb. Because he's going to look to Beal. He's got to keep an eye on Beal. He's going to set these screens. And no matter what he does, we just got to cover Beal. Jump. Great hand. That's an open, really? I right, back him down. 
Oh yeah, corner, green that. Oh, come on, you see? A couple of post spins, a couple of post spins and they gotta leave shooters open. A couple of post spins and they have to. That's not great defense by me, apparently it is. Okay, back him down. No, screw it, I'm gonna take a post fade. I take a post fade here. And we got a very weird animation there. It's all good. Like the meter sped up way faster than it should have. Okay, cover it. He's going to have to pass. Let's go. He's going nowhere. He's going nowhere. He's going absolutely nowhere. Where, keep an eye on where Mark Price is because he's doing. He's not scoring Mir Grudy. Not in the post. He goes by me. He goes by me. We're going to be... Wait, no! I pressed the wrong icon. I made a terrible read there. I pressed the wrong icon. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, get out of my way. Everyone, get out of my way. Bully. 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 Step through. Easy layup. Let's go. I'm trying to like take these layups because I know if you just go up with it, the um the ball stripper will steal, will trigger. Okay, play him high. That's me. Oh, I had that. He has the pass. Good defense. It's me. Oh! That's a steal, 2K. Okay, get out of his way. Dunk that. No! I pa Not only did I not re release that on time, I pressed square to draw a bailout. I pressed X to draw a bailout. Like, I 1 million percent did not green that shot. Like, I wish I had controller cam. There are times that stuff goes wrong and I'm like, I didn't do that. And people are like, oh no, you're just saying that because it's the game. It's like, because you made a mistake. It's like, no, no. I made a mistake there and the game gave me a green. I tapped square and tried to shoot, throw a bailout. I threw a bailout there and I somehow greened. I have never done that before in my life. There we go. Nice dunk there by... Nice dunk there by James. A big game James right there. It's me. Too open. No way. 2K! That's not even in the freaking meter. Damn it. Do not swap me. Good. Stop celebrating, Worthy. Okay, nine points is good here. Oh, I'm way out of position. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there if he wants to go put it. Good defense. Steal. Oh my god. He's literally just getting lucky. And again, that's the, that's the only bot... Part. Like triple threat, actually, the gameplay is plays way better than last year. Problem is, is that again, the mode's not about winning anymore. Like you should not be getting angry when you're up 19 to 11 in a game. You should not be getting angry when you're blowing your opponent out because you just haven't won by enough. No, no, no. Okay, good. Okay, worthy. Let's go. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, Pat. It. Out of my damn way, pad it. So I can get him on the spin. Easy layup there for Worthy. Let's go. That's what he does. That's really what he does. He's just a post guy. He's a post. He is a very, very good post scoring small forward. And if you know what you're doing with those guys, they can be deadly. They can be incredibly deadly. And 2K, 2K knows what they're giving me right now. One token, 200 uh, MT, one token. Of course, the one time I land the corner, it's for one token. It just sums up 2K. It just sums up 2K, honestly. Um, this game. This game mode sums up TTO to 100. But uh, yeah, that's, I don't know where it landed. I land, you're kidding me. I don't, when I don't want to land the corner, it lands in the corner twice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyway, that is pretty much it, lads. Wordy is a hundred million times better than you can expect. He is very solid. Is he a game-changing, unbelievable player? No. But for 2,000 MT in September, you're not getting much better. Maybe you can argue Bagley's better for cheap, but he's going to be... I'm making my first budget squad video is going to be tomorrow, and he's 1 million percent going to be honest. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.